Hello everybody. Now, hopefully in this presentation I'll be able to give you some idea of what higher human biology is like in terms of the units and the project uh, and the expectations. I'm sure all of you are very aware of who the staff are in the department. Myself, Dr Brennan and Dr Denheen uh, and our technician Mrs Bain. Some of you may just have arrived at the college, so welcome. And uh, so really this next slide is for you. So here we are in the flesh. Uh, to the left is Dr. Denheen, there's myself, Dr. Swan, there's Fred the Skeleton, there's Mrs. Bain the Technician, and Dr. Brennan uh, with her Brittany t-shirt on. So all of the, uh, the courses, all the levels in biology from National 5 through to Advanced Tire really follow the same, the same structure. We have three units and an assignment which we have to do in, in, in higher human biology. So in unit one, human cells, which we begin with in June, you can see that some of this will be familiar to you. There's respiration, metabolic pathways is really all about enzymes and structure and function. There's not too much in there that should frighten you. Uh, we also look at uh, more about differentiation in human cells, again, looking at stem cells. DNA replication, we look at that in more depth, and also gene expression. How do you turn mRNA into a protein? What happens here? How do mutations take place? What sort of DNA mutations do we have? And then human genomics, where we look at how do we process all this information? So many students find uh, Unit 2, Physiology and Health, uh, very interesting, where we, we really look at uh, reproduction in, in a lot of detail, uh, the hormonal control of reproduction, um, and uh, the, the menstrual cycle, uh, why women uh, have cyclical fertility, how do we control our fertility, um, how do we check for if there's going to be any problems in, in the uh, antenatal or, or postnatal. Uh, and then we look at the heart structure and function and, and the cardiovascular disease in the heart uh, and also how diabetes and obesity also affects that. So unit three, neurobiology and immunology, is the, the shortest of the three units. And really we're looking at the, the nervous system and splitting up the nervous system into the different components. How do they act? How does the the nervous system work in terms of conscious and unconscious uh, decisions that your brain really makes. And then we move into immunology, uh, particularly looking at vaccinations, immunization, all of this stuff which is particularly relevant today, uh, considering the, this pandemic that we have. So it's actually a very interesting topic, very interesting unit. Well, I think all three units are very interesting, actually. So the external exam that you sit in May will be made up of 25 multiple choice marks and 95 short answer and extended response questions. Uh, and, and as I said, if you've done National 5 Biology, this will be very similar to you, very familiar to you. The extended response questions now go are normally out of maybe 9 or 10 uh, with the odd extended response question worth 5 marks. Most of the, the marks, about 60 to 70 percent, are for knowledge and understanding, but there's a significant quantity, about 30 percent, 30 to 35 percent, uh, which are based on problem-solving abilities. In addition to this, of course, we have the assignment, which is marked out of 20, and then scaled up to 30 this time, rather than 25 for National 5 Biology. Uh, so it's, it's worth 30 marks in the, final, in the final count. As in National 5 Biology, you pick a practical, uh, you research the practical, you carry out the practical, and you write it up. Um, then we normally do our, our slot for doing the assignment is just after the, the prelims, so round about the sort of middle of January into the very beginning of February. And as you can see, it has a very similar structure to National 5 assignment. I'm well aware, of course, that this year's fourth year haven't sat the, the, the research investigation, the assignment, so uh, this will be new to you thinking about it. Uh, but there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of in this. We prepare you very well for it. Uh, and our, our marks in recent years have been very good for the assignment. So why would you want to do higher human biology? 
many students do higher human biology because they're really interested in it and uh, for no other particular reason. They may well have uh, an idea to go down a career path uh, in accountancy or business studies or something else that, that, that doesn't actually have a, a direct biological application. And that's good. Uh, but you may well change your mind. You may, may well do uh, uh, even a crash course in higher human biology and, and that may stimulate a love for the subject. You never know. But otherwise, many students decide to do higher human biology because they, they have a, a biological career path in mind. And this, these next two or three slides just show a few examples of that. Uh, and bear in mind, of course, when we talk about the medical industry, there are so many different branches in there, so many different types of doctor, of nurse, of you get physiotherapy and all sorts of other types of career uh, that come under that medical industry umbrella. And here are five more. So here are just a few more other choices for you. Um, this website has about 100 different uh, biological related careers that, that you might be interested in. So it's well worth having a wee browse through this as well. So I hope that I've answered some of your questions about higher human biology. I'm pretty sure I haven't answered them all. So certainly please feel, feel welcome to come and speak to us or send us an email uh, to any of the department and we'll certainly get back to you very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I hope you all take care. Thank you very much.